Since we have the Oculus Rift for a while now, we thought we would share some of our personal experiences with all of you. Now, let's get started. The following things are going to be discussed. Mounting the Oculus sensors, room skill setup tips and tricks, and how to wear the headset. These little shiny things play the most important role in your tracking setup. Place this in the wrong place and you will find playing uncomfortable. Place it optimally and you will be astonished by its tech. Lately the Oculus Home setup is pretty great and it really gets the job well done. But if you still have some uh, tracking issues, here are some of the things that we do to get it as optimally as possible. We think it is better to place the sensors as high as possible with the sensors tilted down at a 45 degree angle. You can place the sensors like we did on a higher surface on your desk too. You can also use a wall mount and put the sensor high up on the wall. We think that mounting it high up facing down results in much better tracking quality. You can detach the sensors from the stand by turning it counterclockwise. This hole is for a standard 1 quarter inch wall mount. Or if you don't like drilling holes in your house like us, use light stands and ball heads on it. You can even buy these kind of extra ball head mounts so you can share a pole with another headset if you have it or something else. Links of the sands and the ball heads that we use is in our description below. If you have a tool sensor setup, place them in front of you with about 1 to 2 meters of distance. If you have a 3 sensor room setup and like to use room skill, keep in mind to do something like this. Place the first two sensors in front of you with space in between, Ide ideally at least 1 meter. Then place the third sensors behind you in a corner, pointing inwards towards the center of your play space. It doesn't matter which corner. Remember, place the sensor as high as realistically possible. If you still have tracking issues, try putting the two sensors in the motherboard ports and put the headset, so the HDMI cable and the USB cable of it, in the graphics card. And if that doesn't work and you're using USB 2 ports, try putting at least two of the front sensors on a USB 3 port. If you don't have any USB 3 ports, try this cheap card, the Inatec 4 port USB 3 PCE card. Link is down below, or this StarTech card, also the link is down below. Both of these cards are recommended by Oculus themselves. Also, make sure there are no objects, like a desk or a chair, in between your sensors. It can block the sensors view to the controller and headset, and you will lose tracking. It is also possible that your pet is purposely blocking the view, because you are not giving him much attention anymore ever since you bought the VR headset. Your own fault though. Keep in mind that when you move or rotate your sensors, you mostly likely have to redo the sensor setup in the Oculus Home app, or you will have issues. And that is why it's good to place the sensors in a place where it can't be moved. Now, we notice that even if you move a little, it doesn't really matter that much. It could rarely happen that sunlight or reflections can mess up the sensors as well. So try and remove those objects if they are in the room. Mm -hmm. Well, that should do it. Tracking used to be pretty messy in the past, but after a couple of updates from Oculus, the room scale is a lot better and we are enjoying it a lot. Yes, definitely. <laughs> now, if you put on the headset and the image is still a little blurry, then you might need to check if you have the headset on your head correctly. So here are the steps that works for us. First of all, dial your interpupillary distance to your actual IPD value and not just what looks clear. The IPD value is the distance between the center of your pupils of the two eyes. You can dial your IPD distance with this slider here. Now loosen all the straps. Place your headset on your head by putting the back of the strap really low on your head, like this. So the base of the triangle is just above the top of your neck. Now pull the HMD forward so that straps here slip out. Then place it low on your forehead, just above the eyebrows. While holding the HMD in one hand, tighten the Velcro top strap so it's firm but not tight against your forehead. Now, tilt the HMD until it pivots on the point it's attached to your forehead. And now, tighten the side strap and use the Velcro. Don't make it too tight though, you'll notice it's too tight when the spring system starts extending significantly. The first screen you get when you turn on the headset is the health and safety warning. 
which is also a good test for a blurry image. Look at it and do some slight adjustments up and down your forehead until the text is as sharp as possible. The top strap should hold most of the weight, but this really depends on your face shape. Make sure the back looks like this, not like this. So that's it guys. We put links of the things that we mentioned in this video down below. And while most of you might already know all the things that we told you in this video, still let us know if this could help you in any way. And if you want more Oculus tips and tricks, we've made a playlist because more is coming soon. We put the link down here below as well. And of course, if you want to explore the world of virtual reality with us, let us know. And like, comment and subscribe <laughs> by doing that. <laughs> and I am Cass. And I'm sorry. And, and we, we say VR on. on.